Hi, this is Keith. Uh, I had a question on my uh, comments, comment channel comments, uh, about five days ago. That's what it says. Uh, asked me, uh, did you learn Japanese using the TV method? And I have replied to that, uh, but that gives me a lot, uh, I guess, to talk about. So I will uh, continue uh, to answer that question and discuss it. Uh, before that, I would like to mention that uh, I do uh, tend to delete the comments in my channel box from time to time. So uh, probably in a month or so, um, there will be no more comments there. But uh, so if you're watching this a bit later and you say, oh, I don't see it, there are no comments, well, it was there. But I delete my comments sometimes, so uh, don't ask me why. <laughs> um, anyways, did I learn Japanese using the TV method? And first I wonder, well, why does somebody ask me that question? Um, obviously, I think there are two reasons, but I don't know what the uh, person uh, was thinking so uh, the first reason could be that they think uh, my Japanese is good and uh, they want to know you know if I did it that way or they think my Japanese is bad and so that for them that would be proof that you know the TV method isn't uh, good or something uh, it depends on what they think about my Japanese because I do have some some videos uh, from last year of me speaking Japanese and uh, well first of all uh, no matter what anybody else thinks um, I don't say that my Japanese is very good um, for me speaking Japanese is not easy and uh, did I use the TV method well no I didn't I haven't done a lot of input um, even though I've been in Japan um, I have worked you know when I first came here, I worked as an uh, English conversation uh, instructor. So I was not using Japanese at all, and I had basically no co-workers to speak to, but I was at work. And so that doesn't help a person. And then when I did finally get a job where I was using Japanese and uh, had to speak to my co-workers in Japanese, my job was programming. And in, with programming, what you do is you... Uh, work on a program on your computer so you kind of spend uh, time alone so as a programmer you're not going to speak a lot um, it's not really a good job for a person who wants to learn uh, foreign languages um, so that didn't help me very much I mean I got a lot of email and it helped me to increase uh, my reading because I had to read this email and had to look up bunch of words I didn't know. Of course I didn't have a choice and when you live in the country you don't have a choice. You have to look up the words you don't know and uh, you keep getting the same kind of email. So I think for the first couple of months at least, uh, maybe not much more than that, when you get a new job you can learn a lot of words if you know if that job is in the your target language. Um, so I did not uh, use the TV method for learning Japanese. How did I learn Japanese? I started out with uh, some college courses. I did a little bit before that. Uh, looked at a few videos. Uh, not a whole lot because I don't even remember watching a lot. I remember there was there was a series of videos at the library, but I didn't. Uh, I don't know how many I watched. One or two, <laughs> and I did uh, work. I had a I had a program for learning. Hiragana and Katakana, the Japanese syllabaries, and I worked on that. But uh, when I, you know, first took my took my first uh, Japanese class at uh, at college, you know, not it's not a kind of college where uh, people can major in Japanese, so it's more like a, a slow course, uh, same thing you'd get at a community college or something. Even though I was at a university, we didn't have a, the university didn't have a strong Japanese program. And anyway, I was able to take two years of class there, and so of course, uh, that t during that time, you know, I uh, spoke some Japanese in class a little bit. Not obviously not much, because I think in uh, college classes you don't often get to speak much. 
Um, but that's uh, the way I started learning Japanese and of course after I came here um, I had a little bit of opportunity to speak and stuff like that so most of my you know Japanese learning has uh, nothing to do with TV because when I came I didn't think that uh, watching TV was very useful since I didn't understand anything I wanted to study and well I was not very good at studying but uh, that's what I tried to do and so anyway but another point I want to make is that I would never uh, you be able to use my Japanese to prove anything uh, I can't you know even if I'm bad at Japanese you know uh, you you might say oh well he's in Japan and he's not even any good at Japanese you know well that uh, you, you know you could say that uh, probably right now you can't but uh, and if I'm good at Japanese you say well he's in Japan so that's why he's good at Japanese you know so either way you know I'm in Japan it can go against me and it can go for it, it can be a good thing uh, it can be I don't know it can go against me both ways I guess that's what I'm trying to say it can go against me both ways whether I'm good or bad at Japanese you know if I'm bad at Japanese I'm living in Japan uh, then that's you know a pretty bad thing if I'm good at Japanese but I'm living in Japan then you might say well that doesn't apply to the rest of us because we don't live in Japan so uh, my Japanese ability I will never use it as uh, to prove anything to you know say that uh, this is uh, uh, that I know how to learn languages or anything uh, because most people won't be in the country that they're trying for the language that they're trying to learn. So that's why right now I'm really concentrating on Chinese because uh, I'm not in China, I'm not going to China, I'm not visiting China. I'm just like anybody in any English speaking country, even though I'm in Japan, uh, you can, you know, try to learn. You can do Chinese the same way as me, you know, so if, uh, if my method uh, works out uh, to your satisfaction and you want to do it uh, there will be you know no excuse just because you're at home I'm, I'm at home too because you know Japan is my home it's not in China so that's uh, I think that's all I wanted to say thank you